Praise God. I take this opportunity to welcome you to our week for the Committee for Justice, Peace, Reconciliation and Creation. And before we go to our topics, I would like to welcome Mr. Mwangi to pray. Let us pray. Our Father and Mighty God, we humble ourselves as PCA, Kariobag South Church Fraternity, JPLRC. We seek your name, O Lord. We seek your presence, Father. As we start our week, O Mighty Redeemer, we seek your control, O Lord, to be with us, O Jehovah Lord. Whatever we're going to discuss, whatever we're going to talk, O Jehovah Lord, may you be within our, within our midst, O Jehovah Redeemer. You have told us, O Father, in the Bible that it's written where two or three, O Father, are gathered together for your name, O Lord, you are in their midst. Father, we seek your presence, we, we seek your face, O Jehovah, Lord. And whatever we are going to discuss, O Lord, may you be with us, Jehovah Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty Father, do we pray and give thanks. Amen. Uh, with me today, I have the committee for JPLC, PCA, Kariobangi South Parish, and I would like to introduce you to them. Uh, to my left, I have uh, Maxwell Mainge. He is the vice chair. K South Church. Uh, the next one is uh, Jun Washuka, Secretary, K South Church, followed by Esther Wagema, Treasurer, K South Church, Agnes Kariuki, a member of uh, JPLC K South. We have Mr. Mwangi, the Chair, KCC, then Shanice Jogona, KCC Secretary, and finally we have our patron, Elder Muteru, who will be taking us through the mandate and the objectives of JPLC. Perhaps it is important to say that uh, JPLC is a studying committee created uh, by the church to cater and to explain to people about issues and uh, that happen every day to us, like justice, peace, and even reconciliation, and even creation. Uh, it is contained in the practice and procedure, and Elder Muteru will be telling us more about that. Welcome, Elder Muteru. Thank you very much, Elidi, for the introduction, and a very warm welcome to all our listeners from across the globe. Welcome to our JPRC week, and this is PCA Kariopak South Parish, and we are glad that we have you on air. And we thank God for bringing us this far. Thank you for this very good day. Uh, my name is Muteru, Simon Muteru. I'm born again. And I'm glad to be associated with JPRC. Uh, many people do not have an idea what JPRC is or what it is all about. I'll therefore try and paint a picture of JPRC so that we can demystify this group that is hardly known by very many people. And I wish to refer you to the very first chapter of the Bible. And I want to refer to the first verse of that chapter, and which says that in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. If you read further down, you'll see that God created everything that we see and which we do not see. He created the animals, He created the plants, the rivers and the valleys and the mountains and everything that we see, including what we do not see. The good Lord worked for six days, then he took a rest. After creating almost everything, he created man as the last thing, and he created them, both man and woman. He put them in the Garden of Eden and told them to work, or rather to manage, or to take care of that garden. So that was the mandate of the Lord to our four parents, Adam and Eve. 
He also told them to increase so that there would be more people on earth. And he also said, make use of all that I have created for your food and for your livelihood. The good Lord also gave the two a list of do's and don'ts. You might wish to remember, he said, you may eat of all these plants, but this one here, do not touch. So the good Lord was the first person who gave a list of do's and don'ts. And you will ag agree with me, even today, we are governed by do's and don'ts. As the people increased, they started moving to different directions. And as you know, when people are many, we are about to have conflicts. And when conflicts arise, we need to reconcile the people, the, the countries, the communities, or even families or individuals who are in conflict. So uh, people increased and conflicts came. So we, it, there was a need to reconcile people who are warring, who had conflict. And so you can see conflicts also started long ago in the days of the Old Testament. Today is not very different. We also have conflicts. Countries are rising against countries, communities against communities. That's across the world. And even here in our own country, Kenya, we can see that happening. So reconciliation comes in. And after re reconciliation, we have justice and we also have peace. Remember, we all started from the very first verse of the first book of the Bible, where the good Lord created the heavens, the earth, and everything that is in the earth. So you can start seeing the shape of JPRC. Um, now, moving further down, or rather fast forward, if you look at what is happening across the world today, and specifically in our nation, Kenya, right now in our nation, there is heightened uh, political activity due to the forthcoming general elections. We have seen many people coming up, vying for the various positions, and we can see there's a lot of uh, activity with the IABC and all the aspirants. Uh, but not all of them can take the few positions that are available. So here, there are many candidates, but only very few positions. What is going to happen now? If you remember the, the days of the Old, in the Old Testament, whenever there was a, a, a need for picking one out of many, which is uh, referred to as uh, casting lots. We can see that happening in the, old, uh, in the Old Testament. Now, this is very similar to the elections that we do every five years. There are many candidates who want one position. How do you pick one out of the many? You want to look fair and just, so an election comes in hardy. This has been happening throughout the ages, only in different ways. And here we see it is nothing new, it has been happening, and is going to continue happening. Uh, I said earlier that God gave Adam and Eve a list of do's and don'ts. These are the same things that man copied, and we are using them across the world even today. Every family, every society, every club, every church, every nation on this earth has its own list of do's and don'ts. You can call them rules, regulations, code of conduct, or even laws. God is the one who initiated that. And because we are made in the image and likeness of God, that is how we got that, because we are creators like him. Um, so what God did the very first time after creating man is what is actually governing this world today laws, rules. Let me give you an example. If someone steals, is arrested, taken to court, and punished for stealing. God gave Adam and Eve rules and laws. Let's call them so. Then later on, through Moses, he gave the Ten Commandments and many others. 
One of them, if you look at the Ten Commandments, also, also in the New Testament, it says, do not steal. So there is absolutely nothing new. What God gave from the beginning of the times is what is governing the earth even today. So you can see God created man and the animals and the plants and all the rest and told man, use what I have created for your own good, for your food, for your livelihood. That has never changed. He also said, don't do this, but you may do this. Again, that is happening throughout even now. Uh, so this issue of elections, this issue of picking one out of many is as old as history itself. Just imagine when somebody applies for a job, when, when there's an advert, we get many uh, applicants, maybe hundreds, if not thousands. Only one can qualify. What happens again? There's a rigorous activity there of um, shortlisting, then interviewing, just to pick the best out of the many. This is what has been happening from time to time. We are going to do the same during the, uh, our, uh, our, uh, our elections. We are going to pick one out of many. And there is absolutely nothing new in this. It's just what God uh, um, directed or rather advised and we took it up from him because we are made in his image and likeness. The rules and the laws that God gave were actually to put this earth in some order. We cannot function without order, without the rules and the regulations or for countries, the uh, constitutions that is needed. It actually came from the very first book of the Bible. So just JPRC is about uh, justice to the people, living in peace and reconciliation where necessary, even as we tend or use or manage God's creation for our own good and for the betterment of this world. So, ladies and gentlemen, let us obey the rules of the government. Like, like I said earlier, every five years we go voting, we go for elections. Every 10 years also, we have census. Let us obey this, let us do this. Remember, if you do not vote, you are giving an edge or an advantage to the person whom you would not have voted. So by not voting, you are actually voting the wrong person. Let us agree. We see Jesus said, give unto Caesar what is Caesar's, and, and then to the Lord what is the Lord's. What was he telling us? We obey our other government, even as we obey the kingdom of the Lord. We see the, the parents of Jesus, the, the parents of, of, of Jesus, we see them obeying the law of the land. When they moved from Galilee to Bethlehem for census, they were actually obeying the law of the, 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 the state. So we should also be like them. We obey the state and we also obey the laws of the kingdom of God. And all will be well, all will be well, and we shall have a word of time on this earth. And with this, with, with these very few remarks, ladies and gentlemen, my brethren, our hearers, we wish you a very good JPRC week. And it is now my pleasure to declare the JPRC week now officially launched. May the good Lord bless you. Do you good. Remember, do not fail to vote. Obey your government. Obey the Lord our God and all will be well with us. Thank you for your attention. May the good Lord bless us all.